My name is Joanne Cook and I'm the Recreation and Culture Director for the Town of Silverthorne. Well, I'm Ryan Hyland. I'm the town manager in Silverthorne. I'm very excited to be here today. We are getting geared up for our first public conversation related to our arts and culture strategic plan for the town. And we're really soliciting input from the community to figure out how we integrate arts and culture into everything that we do in Silverthorne and make that part of our identity and really do that in an authentic way so that it feels right to everyone in the community. In preparation for this public meeting, we have formed an advisory group that has about 20 members. They're leaders in our community that we've reached out to and asked them some really important questions like, what is Silverthorne to you? What do arts and culture mean to you? And how can you see this unfolding in our community? We've taken the information from our advisory group members and paired that with information we've received from other communities that are doing arts very well, such as Denver, Salida, and Breckenridge. We've also reached out to local stakeholders, such as local artists and the local business community to find out what arts and culture mean to them. Ultimately, out of this project, we will come out with a strategic plan that guides us in the areas of arts and culture and how we do integrate those into everything that we do, whether that's the public projects that we're doing or the offerings that we provide at the new Performing Arts Center and even the pavilion. And so what we've done is we've put together five interactive stations that we're going to have at this public conversation so anyone who is interested in this topic can come, participate, and tell us what they think about Silverthorne's identity, our future, what their place is in this conversation. And we're gonna take that information that we gather and use it as we build this plan. My particular station, we're talking about what might that feel like? Is it an opportunity where eventually our community became known not just for some of the wonderful recreational amenities that we have um, and our beautiful setting, but also maybe 50-50 we're known just as much for our arts and culture and part of that's obviously the Lake Duan Theater coming to the Performing Arts Center that we're building and so could people envision a day where we are known just as much for arts and culture as we are for some of the things that we do great um, today. This station is getting feedback about the mission statement and, or the four mission statements and asking people what they like about what's written so far in the draft and what they don't like uh, because of course we're going to change it to make sure that the draft really reflects uh, the perspectives of all the people in the town. So we want something that people can read and say, oh yeah, that's what I think. That's the kind of town I want to have. That's the statement that should be in the plan. So we're asking and we're going to rewrite it based on what they say. So this is an art tree where people are coming and they're posting their ideas about how to bring art to Silverthorne. Any idea goes. People have been very creative, coming up with all sorts of different examples of what opportunities and ideas for art could be for the town. I am manning the more of this, less of that station. So we have folks taking a look at photos and uh, of different towns and arts that are going on in other locations uh, throughout the country and the world, really, and putting them on boards that say, yes, we'd like to see a little bit more of that. We'd like to see a little bit less of this. And it's really cool to see the different thoughts and ideas that are coming out. Okay, at this station we are collecting information about how people want to feel in Silverthorne. So we have two questions. One is, when Silverthorne's soon-to-be-built downtown comes about, we most want people to feel, and then it's an open-ended question, and we have about 12 or 13 answers here, and people can vote using ping pong balls. They take the words they like, they drop it in, and at the end of the night, we're going to tally up and see, in general, how people are wanting to feel in our downtown. And then right over here is um, the same thing, but a different question. What do you hope might be Silverthorne's emerging arts and culture identity. And again, we have 12 or 13 words here describing how that might be. We're letting people vote on it. And at the end of the night, we're gonna see um, what comes out on top. And I'm Mark Lydell, the Assistant Town Manager for the Town of Silverthorne. And a lot of the discussion that we've been having is, is creating a downtown. 
and mainly it's for the pedestrian friendly environment that we're trying to create in this downtown of, of Silverthorne and the arts and the culture is a huge part of that. A lot of people have been pointing to the bringing the Lake Dillon Theater into the town core and we see that building upon what we've already have from the pavilion that's there in town. And we see this as sort of being the catalyst because once we get this town core happening we, we see restaurants and pedestrian activity and, and slowing the traffic down to really build that pedestrian friendly area within the town core. So a lot of the drawings that we have here are relating to the comprehensive plan that we've adopted in 2014 and the Parks, Trails and Open Space plan and so we're building upon a lot of the, the plans that we've put in place. Hi, my name is Paul. I've been working for the Town of Silverthorne here. I'm here in front of the Before I Die board. This is the town's first interactive art event that we have and it's been moving around the town. It started the last couple days over at the pavilion and today we moved it over here for the event. We'll have this up for several days. It's going to move also around the town. You're going to see it also at Pumpkin Fest and celebrations and possibly at the rec center as well. Uh, we're really excited to see it. It's a great event. This is a great board to kind of bring the community together, let people talk about their hopes and dreams and kind of let you see what your neighbors are like and see what everybody else inspires and what they kind of want to be a part of. It's great to see it. I've gotten to write on it a couple times. I'm really excited to kind of see what else, else everybody else has to do and kind of see where our community has direction and what we want to do. So if you weren't able to get to this meeting, hopefully you can come out. We're doing another one and we're always looking for that input. So uh, stop by Town Hall, give us a call, uh, let us know what you think.